here at Lund Cadillac in Phoenix, Arizona, taking a look at Cadillac's new flagship, the XTS, and this is front wheel drive, V6, 3.6 liter, giving you over 300 horsepower on this vehicle. This is in sapphire blue metallic with shale interior and cocoa accents. We'll take you around this vehicle, show you some of the really cool features on it. I tell you what, if you're driving a DTS, this is a better car. It's more advanced, it's safer. This one also has a driver awareness package, so it's gonna let you know uh, when you know, you're getting close to someone in front of you uh, on the sides or the rear. You're gonna get uh, uh, vibrations in the seats. Um, and if you do have the uh, everything set on this car, uh, the cruise control, it's going to uh, stop the car um, if you get too close to the, the car in front of you. So anyway, let's go around this car. We'll take a look at this and uh, we'll go over all the, uh, the nice little details that you just can't see from the outside. This does have the adaptive headlamps that will actually turn 15, 15 degrees to the outside, uh, 5 degrees to the inside depending on which direction you're traveling. Nice feature, LED lights that go down uh, the front sides there. Here's a look at the grill. This is the premium package. 19 inch alloys. This does have Brembo brakes in the front for great stopping power. There's a lot of nice colors in the Cadillac lineup this year. This one is my all time favorite. When you see this in the uh, sun, it just is a gorgeous dark blue metallic. Here's a look at it up close. Let you get a look at that metal metallic look to it. There you go. You have front sonar right there. Also has rear sonar. Cadillac's gone with a real attractive design on this vehicle. Here's a look at the front. Go down this side where the sun's at. So the front nose profile, right there. Side profile, long sloping rear window. Gorgeous color. While we're out here, I'll show you the, uh, the trunk space. Super deep trunk. As you can see, tall and deep. Plenty of room for a group of items, no matter if it's suitcases or, you know, this one does have the temporary spare on it. Some of them have the inflator kits. There's a pass-through right there. So if you're used to that space in the DTS, you got it again on this one. You can't tell by looking at the rear. I mean, it looks like it's got a small trunk, uh, but <laughs> it's actually about the same size as your DTS anyway. So here's a look at the rear. Rear sonars. Again, Cadillac going with the uh, great design. This has an ultra view moonroof. So the front opens, the rear is stationary, but it lets a lot of sunlight in. This one does have heads up display. I'll show you that from the outside and we'll look at it from the inside. Another nice feature, there's part of that driver awareness with the uh, sensors, camera. These door handles light up at night, right there. Also right there. Let's have your side markers on the mirror, more safety. Let's take a look inside. There's a view from the driver's side, large door openings, easy to get in and out of, very comfortable. Driver's door with memory settings. Everything's easy to access. There's your trunk, it's 
does have the Bose speaker system. Let's take a look at the rear. Once again, very roomy car. But the magnetic ride control that is standard on this vehicle, I gotta tell you, anywhere you're driving in this car, uh, you know, you might as well be uh, riding in a limousine. It's just a super comfortable and controlled ride. And um, just one of the most enjoyable cars out there, really. There's a window shade there, built in. Goes down. Speakers on the uh, driver's seat and passenger seat. Backs. There's temperature control back here for more forced air. There's a look up here. I'll show you the, uh, the dash from the back seat here and then we'll get up there and hit the controls. Take you through some of its functions. These leg bolsters pull out. Great for a long trip. Hold your legs up. Keep you from getting tired. Ten standard airbags on this one. Let's take a look at the driver's seat here. Like lumbar support. Up your back. This has heated and ventilated seats. So it's perforated there in the middle. There's some controls over here for your electronic uh, parking brake settings. Heads up display, information. I'm gonna jump inside here. There's the steering wheel controls. It's your five-way controller here. Over here you have your Bluetooth, cruise control. Heated steering wheel. Turn up the air here. Well, let's look at the uh, instrument gauge cluster. I can use this controller right here to select the layout. So, really neat. Uh, on the left-hand side you've got navigation with this layout. Got your fuel range over there, speedometer in the middle. All right, so here, let's change the setting. Let's go to, there's a performance layout, I'll hit that. And there's another one there. So you can change everything on the right hand side, the left hand side. There you go, you can change that up and down. So. Different settings, RPM gauge, tire pressure, oil life, you name it. We'll go back over here to the middle. You can change that to the map there in the middle. Regular speedometer, digital speedometer, and regular. Let's go over here to the right hand side. Got my XM radio set up there. You can change that to your phone connections, just a compass there. All right. Let's go back to the middle here and uh, let's look at one more layout. There we go. Let's go with that was enhanced. So let's go with the performance layout. We like this one. Boom. Here we go. Here it comes. Real nice animation. And there's a real cool layout there. A lot of people choose this one. Let's just see that. So personalize it the way you want it. Real fun car to operate. Here, push button start here for your engine. Over here you've got your Q system. We call that the Q system. It's the Cadillac user experience. And on that you're going to have navigation, your audio controls, climate controls, um, OnStar. Um, you can do Pandora. There's Pandora. you got your weather. Um, and you can situate these icons all on one page or whatever. So I hit navigation there. Beautiful, uh, easy to read map. You can put in your destination there if you wanted to go to a local movie theater. It would uh, give you the location, give you the directions. It would even tell you how much the tickets are. So, pretty fun feature. Um, let's see. You got your lane departure over here setting so that you know you get a heads up uh, when you're starting to depart out of your lane everything's really electronic here we hit this glove box button it's electronic it opens the glove box as you can see right there is the uh, 
DVD holder for the navigation. Um, let's see. Well, we can open this up right here. Take a look at that. Underneath, you have a compartment with a USB port. So you can throw your goodies in there, throw your uh, MP3 player in there, throw in your uh, just about anything small that you want to put in there. Just hit that again. These are all touch controls. Down here is your volume control, your heating, your ventilation, your air conditioning controls, your ventilated seats. Once again, you just touch these. You don't, you don't touch the silver bars. The only silver bar you touch is this one down here to open it. Um, but you touch above the silver bars. The, the silver bars are just a uh, uh, reference point. So we're touching above that. We'll hit the home button here above that. You get a little feedback from that. It kind of vibrates to let you know that you've hit that button. Same, same way with the air conditioner. Once again, I'm touching above those bars. Okay. I'll turn the volume up. I could also go up here and just move it. Once again, you got controls here on your steer, uh, steering wheel. And then they show up here with the performance setup. There's your uh, gear shift. If you put that down in manual mode, you can use your paddles behind the steering wheel to shift up and down. A couple cup holders there. And down here, we have two more USBs and an auxiliary and an SD card holder. Let me get down in there. You can see right there, there's an SD card holder. So this is lit up at night. See a little light there. Makes it easy to access. Here's your passenger seat. I'll go up over that. Show you the rear passenger compartment. I'm going to sit in the driver's seat here. Let me adjust the mirrors. I'm going to show you what the view looks like from the driver's seat. If there were any blind spots, you have to remember you have sensors on this vehicle to help you out with anything like that. So here we are. Here's a look down the uh, driver's side through the mirror. Got the front. Got a little heads up display there. I'll show you that in a moment. for you. Look okay, at us look up in the mirror here. So here's your mirror through the rear view mirror. Camera's kind of in the way. And then over the driver's shoulder here. If you look over your shoulder, this is what you're going to see. And once again, your sonar in the front and the rear of the car is going to help you um, protect you from uh, running into anything. Okay, here's the heads up display up there crystal clear make it bright here there you go so in that setting in that setting you've got your uh, radio station showing XM satellite and the song miles per hour Let's see if I can change this there's a different setting right there and there's another setting with the RPM gauge Speed limit in certain areas it'll tell you what the speed limit is most people are going to keep it on this setting right here so easy to read heads up display fun to use all right let's go under the hood and we'll finish it up there I love this sapphire blue metallic okay 3.6 liter V6 with uh, variable valves and timing um, on this engine give you uh, the right amount of horsepower and help keep the world green. You'll see on the cap here it says Dexos. That's a new synthetic oil. It's basically synthetic oil mixed with excuse me, mixed with um, 
mineral oil. And uh, the reason why that's important is with that oil, you can go up to 15,000 miles in between oil changes, depending on how you drive the vehicle. If you drive it hard, you might be changing your oil at 5,000 miles. If you're easy on the car and uh, you're not going up and down a bunch of hills and high speeds and everything, you're probably gonna get more oil life out of that. The uh, computer will tell you inside the vehicle and you can get notifications through OnStar. So, um, hey, here it is, folks. This is the Cadillac flagship 2013 Cadillac S XTS. This is in the premium version that we've gone over with these nice features. They don't all have these features. Some of them have more. So give us a call here at Lund Cadillac, 602-942-4000. You can reach us online at lundcadillac.com or you can come in and test drive one of these. We're ready to go. 1311 East Bell Road, Phoenix, Arizona, 85022.